Kumbe, it was just all to do with stupid cloud. Yeah, that is what Kenyans were out here saying after Diana Marua finally broke her silence or came to and announced what they have been trying to push with all that cloud. And it's very sad to see that big artists like Bahadis are still using, you know, cheap clouds to push their agenda. And it's an obvious cloud, man. You know, cloud is good for showbiz, but an obvious cloud that is too low, man. Anyways, man, uh, it all started with Diana B coming through to announce earlier today through her social media handles where she said this, and I quote, I have a lot to say. I'll give a final word at 7 p.m. today. And come around 7.40, she posted a video showing that it was all to do with the reality TV show that will air on Netflix come this Friday going by the name The Bahadis Empire where she posted a sneak peek of the show featuring several celebrities or big stars the likes of Terence I saw Karen whom you guys can remember commented something to do with this cloud between Bahati and Diana also I saw the likes of Akina Kabiz among others and after sharing that video she posted these or she captioned these and I quote we were the first Kenyan family to have a reality on a national TV that is being Bahati on NTV and now we make history as the first Kenyan family to have a reality show on Netflix or glory goes to our Lord Jesus Christ. It's official. The first Kenyan East African reality show on Netflix is the Bahadis Empire premieres on this Friday, that is 7th June 2024. Oh yes, I know Hayal had missed us on TV. The king and queen of reality are back and it's time for us to answer all your rumors as we share with the world our dirty, clean, sad and happy moments. This is unscripted in capital letter but is it I don't know, Manze. And she continued to say, This is the best reality Kenya has seen. Just trust me, see her on Netflix this Friday. But I tell you what, I can remember very well being Bahati. They were still saying that it wasn't scripted, but it was scripted 100%. But it is what it is. Bora Entertainment. I'm to say, And as I said, it's too sad to see our big entertainers or artists are still using some cheap and obvious clouds to push their agendas man. I know it's good for showbiz and stuff but again using an obvious clout that is too low man. and that is why I maintain we still have a long way to go like we are still far behind Tanzanians when we talk about entertainment but one day probably tafika hapo wasani wetu wakilan new tactics you know the showbiz and stuff anyways man that is just good go ahead and tell us what do you guys think about that show that is the Bahadis empire that will air on netflix come this friday and number two what do you guys think about the cloud well was it too cheap am i got too sour well tell us your thoughts and comment section and make sure you subscribe if you're new follow me on instagram bliska.ke and kamake i'll see you guys in the next one